My dear friends, today I encourage you to face squarely the challenge that St. James posts in the second reading. If faith does not have works, it is dead, warns St. James. You might ask, Cardinal, why is it important that our faith and works meet? Brothers and sisters, it is important because of the very nature and dynamism of faith in Christ. Authentic faith in Christ, generated by grace, is accepting Jesus as the Christ, the Son of God. It involves obeying Him, His teachings, and way of life. It moves us to live as He did, with compassion, charity, and closeness to the people. Pope St. John Paul II says, Faith is the heartbeat of the new evangelization, for it re-evangelizes believers and opens them more and more to the teachings and light of Christ. If we confess belief in Christ, then we are also proclaiming our readiness to observe all that He taught and to embrace the cross along the path of selfless love that He treaded. While faith is God's gift that opens our eyes to recognize Jesus as Lord, it still requires of us an active reception and participation that it may transform us to be more and more like the one whom we believe in and follow. How do we know that we have actively received the gift of faith? When our person, words, and deeds begin to become Christ-like. I recall what Pope Benedict XVI said during the opening Mass of the Year of Faith. Living faith opens the heart to the grace of God, which frees us. It frees us from our inhibition to wholly accept the life of Jesus as our life, our callousness to injustice and suffering, our indifference to the cries of our brothers and sisters, and our fear to proclaim Jesus. Recall the healing of the two blind men who cried out, Son of David, have pity on us, as the Lord passed by. Jesus asked them, Do you believe I can do this? They said, Yes. After the healing, they went about spreading the good news about Jesus. This scene expresses the link between faith and works. Faith opens our eyes and it prompts us to share it with others. We remember that Jesus asked them to see that no one knows about this. Perhaps it was a challenge to them and now to us. Receiving the gift of faith and experiencing God's action in our lives, will we keep it to ourselves? True faith in the Lord inspires us to become His zealous witnesses. And by witnessing, we mean living the faith through acts of love and mission. Brothers and sisters, the Lord tells us that our Christian identity is tied to our love for each other. And love does not stay idle, says the great mystic and doctor, St. Catherine of Siena. Faith impels or urges us to love God, neighbors, and the whole of creation. It is the secret of Christian living, says Pope Francis, and love keeps faith alive. Thank you.